I actually came outside yesterday and he was chilling up here. Look at this fella. Look at. Well, we got some bad news. Uh, we gotta head over to Camp Kennedy's and check out our turtle egg. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to another video here today. We don't have the best news. Now, if you watch this channel pretty often, you know I have three now Malaysian box turtles in my backyard. Here's the male right here. Just found him tucked up in there. I'm actually gonna put him back right now, exactly how he was. Now about a month, a month and a half ago, these turtles actually had babies. I have two females and a male, and one of the females, before I even found the second female, laid an egg right there. It was a pretty crazy experience. That egg, then I brought over to Kenan's house, where he had an incubator, and we were planning on having the egg hatch there, and then I'd bring him back and probably, I would've put him in the mini turtle pond that we just made recently, but sadly, the one egg, they typically have like two to three, but she only had one, and it was like a defective egg. I guess it wasn't, it never was living. It just rotted. So I'm gonna send you on over to Kenan's house, which he'll give you much more information on what did happen, because I gave it to him for a reason. He knows what he's doing. You'll see how many eggs he has in his incubator that are hatching, or getting ready to hatch like right now. And I'd strap yourself in, because you're about to learn a lot of stuff about reptiles. You probably never even know. Without further ado, I'm gonna send you on over to Kenan's, and uh, he'll tell you the scoop. All right, Cannon, what do we got going on? Oh, man. All right, so all you Kafaros out there, I, I'm sad to say that the egg died. So basically, you know, I had it set up the way we did it, um, and it just rotted. So sometimes what will happen is sometimes a turtle egg can just die. It's just facts of nature. You know, turtles, their whole deal is they lay a lot of eggs over their reproductive life, and then some of those eggs, if they're lucky enough to even hatch, because most eggs get predated. Yep, nests. like even on the beach with the little turtles. 24 hours, most of the eggs get eaten, uh, most. So um, this egg, unfortunately, didn't last, and it's kind of a bummer. But I'll show you some things that are going on. Like, since we had a rotten egg, I always yeah. check. And, it, and is, this, is this pretty common, the rotten eggs? It's common eggs? when you have, um, you know, because not all eggs are fertile. Usually they'll lay uh, two to three eggs, that one laid one egg. Many tortoises will lay a few eggs throughout the course of the season. So you may even have uh, some baby turtles in your backyard. Yeah, I was thinking about that. So I just checked to make, these are, they're not rotten, but they're just dirty, I didn't wash them. Now this one I believe will rot, because you see this guys? Can you guys see that? And then on the inside, you see there's an outer shell and then there's a membrane on the inside. And if the outer shell's damaged on this species, uh, the membrane collapses. Uh, so what happens is it, what that tells me is it's lost moisture in it. It's not. So you're just kind of giving it a try. Uh, some, but you know, the, the thing is guys, always incubate the eggs until they smell. And that's what I did with Paul. It started to smell, Kate wasn't having it. I had to get it out, dude, I'm sorry. I would have saved the eggs. We could have had a teachable moment, but uh, let's just keep checking. All right, so like these, I think one of these may not be good. You give it a smell test. If it doesn't smell, no worries. But you can see kind of like the nice white color. Yeah, I didn't really wash these. Ones. I didn't wash them because mm -hmm. there's some theories like, oh, don't wash them because the mucus, if you wash the mucus off, that's that's like a protectant. That's like a natural, yeah. um, you know, antibiotic that the mother gives them. But I don't know. So far, so good, guys. These are my, these are radiated tortoise eggs. Radiated. So these were the ones I explained, guys. Remember, I had to keep them in a wine cooler and you cool them down for about a Oh month. yeah, that, yeah, it's like right there. there. Yeah. And now now they're incubating and they look good. So I'm just gonna be gentle with these. Looking clean. I just got like an allergy. <laughs> I'm right there with you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> these are rhinoceros iguana Oh my eggs. gosh, why are they so soft? Okay, so reptiles, different reptiles have different type of eggs. So tortoises, mo uh, pretty much all tortoises have a porcelain shelled egg with a membrane on the inside. Some turtles have a porcelain shell egg, but a lot of turtles have a leathery shell eggs. Now snakes and lizards uh, will have leathery shelled eggs, and you can see they're pliable. Now the thing, if you were to feel, feel this, and just give it a little pinch, you'll feel something in there. Oh yeah. That's a lizard, dude. There's a little baby so rhinoceros sick. in here, and this is telling me they're ready to hatch. So any day now, these little guys are gonna puncture uh, with an egg tooth right out of this leathery shell. And if you guys keep an eye on my Instagram, Camp Kenan, uh, you'll see that I'll post videos of these guys hatching. We'll do a whole video on my YouTube channel. But what's neat is um, you can kind of see the different stages. These guys are starting to hatch, all right? This one's moving around. You feel they move around. And that's another thing, guys. I sometimes touch them 
because when they're all bound together, when they're all in the nest, they're all touching each other, right? So if they're moving around on the inside, they're talking to each other in essence. They're, they're telling each other, hey, I'm developed. Are you developed? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. can't you like, you could actually like tickle the egg and, the, and the lizard buddy, will pop Ty out. Park, there's videos, uh, Thai Park, certain lizards like Tegu, my buddy Pop Thai, uh, really knowledgeable lizard expert, uh, will we'll rub the eggs when it's time to hatch. And by doing that, it's simulating the others hatching in the nest and they pop right yeah. out. I'm sorry, but this is just what happens. I it's the way of life. And it's not the last egg I will have in my back. No way, I and guarantee. That's what I'm saying. You know, look, you, you don't often have success the very first time. We're getting Paul ready. Uh, Paul, let's go outside and let's see if we can kind of uh, school you a little bit. So these are the rhino iguanas that had the babies. Yep, that's Dad, that's Petro. And then come over here. Oh, watch for the turtles. You don't yeah, want to step on them. Petro, what yeah, up? And this is his lady. This is Petro. Oh, wow. Okay, so these are the ones that had the babies. Yes, yeah, she right here laid the eggs. And what's great about the rhinoceros and Cuban iguanas, like Lola and Guapo that we'll feed in a little bit, um, is these animals tame up nicely. So, again, um, these are animals that if you get, if you raise them in captivity, they calm down. You can kind of see how she's just like, what am I doing, Dad? She's shedding a little bit. I love her so much. They'll get about four and a half to five foot long when full grown. So they're fairly large lizards. They're terrestrial. They live on the ground. They're vegetarian, so that's nice too. Uh, for some of you sensitive vegans out there, they don't eat meat. They eat a lot of vegetation. Um, and so there you have it. Beautiful lizards. Let's put her back in her box. It's going to be cool tonight. It's so, it's like 76 degrees yeah, out right it's now. It's perfect right now. And, it, and he just, she just hangs out with the turtles? Yeah, she hangs out with these tortoises. These are Greek tortoises. They're from a different part of the world, but they actually have the same environmental requirements. So I go ahead and I, I house them. I, ha I house them together. <laughs> Yes. So here's the babies. Yes. And these Those snakes actually don't even lay eggs. They don't, man. These are called Dumerel's boas. And there's a couple of really cool things about the Dumerel's boas. There's the male. Here's the female. She's the mom. He's the dad. And there are the babies. Now, the thing that's cool about Dumerel's boas is they're a boa constrictor species, right? But they're not from Central to South America where most boas are found. <laughs> They're actually from Madagascar, which is bizarre because they're so far apart from other members of their family. So they wonder, how did these guys wind up in Madagascar? Uh, there are pythons and boa constrictors. Pythons lay eggs, okay? And they have uh, thermal pits on their lips that they can help kind of detect warm-blooded uh, prey, like birds and mammals. Well, boas don't have those. And they also give live birth, which is what we're talking about. Since we're talking about eggs today, I thought I'd school you guys in the way that reptiles reproduce and lay eggs. Now, the cool thing about these guys, they don't put eggs on the ground. What they do, and it's really neat, some lizards and some snakes will actually hold the eggs in their bodies. The thing is, they don't get a shell. We were talking about porcelain shells and leathery shells. Most snakes have leathery shells. Well, these snakes don't even get a shell. They keep them in their body. The egg follicles, their ovaries develop the eggs. They never get a shell, instead they get an egg membrane. And the babies are separate with each in, in the body with their own egg yolk. If the mom's hiding out, holding onto her eggs, what were we talking about earlier? Most eggs get destroyed in the first 24 hours, yep. most nests. So if the mom is already grown up, she knows where to hide, she goes off feed, she just hangs out and hides and protects herself with these little jaws here, you know, scaring people yeah. away or uh, predators away, then the babies develop inside and when they come out, they come out fully formed. This is sick. So just two days ago, guys, uh, it's actually, this is a small clutch. Ooh, he's going down there. <laughs> this is a small clutch. Uh, there was one, what we call a slug. So there's one stillborn baby. And then we have all these beauties. It's a lot of fun, man. I'm always, always stoked when you stop by there, Paul. Check hope we learned out. something. Oh, I think they did learn something. Even I myself learned something. We're back home. So unfortunately, a little bit of sad news there. The egg never actually made it. Check out behind me. I actually hung all the fan mail now. It's it's crazy, and I probably still have a lot more sitting at the PO box already. So I got to make another trip. But look at this. Just completely wild. We're gonna go all down this now. Update on the turtles. There's one and there's the other just swimming around. I actually came outside yesterday and he was chilling up here taking a little sunbathe. I removed the bricks that go out so that it wouldn't collapse on them and, and trap them down there. So now they just come up right here and come up there to get some sun. Turtles are doing good. Now two turtles is actually not a lot for this enclosure. I can get ones that actually stay on land more than water this time. Bottom line is I think we're probably going to get another turtle for this. A little baby one. 
hit that like button for me and uh, if we get enough likes I'll go out and I'll buy another one. Now as you know it's October 30th and before I go on and talk about that turtle egg a little more I do have to clarify that this pond right here is given away today and we did pick a winner. Now it's going to be weird to pick a winner on YouTube, it, that's just how it is. That person that wins has to see this video in order to email me in order to claim the prize. So we decided a few months or about a month ago to do a pond giveaway to win one of these in your own backyard. Pretty crazy. It's worth, how much is the pond kit? It's a $1,200 retail $1 value. $1,200 retail value pond kit right there. And there was three rules in order to enter this giveaway. Don't get me wrong, this will not be the last giveaway. This will not be the last giveaway. There's many more to come. In fact, in the next few months, we're gonna be doing a ton more. So if you don't win, or if you didn't win this time, don't worry about it, there's many more to come. I've got the winner in my pocket. Now this took so long to find this winner. It, it was hard. We're gonna have to find an easier way next time, but the Italian, and then something with the P, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Anyway, pretty much to sum it up, he or she is too young in order to build or buy a pond, buy the supplies for it. So this was a great, choice for the winner. The only thing is, this person has to email me. Here's the email right here. So if you're watching this, email me this instant. Don't miss out. If you don't email me within, what would you do? This is your contest. 48 hours. You get two days. This video will go up. You got two days to email me. If you don't email me, I will hop back on this camera myself because Greg's flying back to Chicago and uh, I'll choose another winner. So for those of you who didn't win, just cross your fingers, this person doesn't reply, and then uh, you, you possibly can <laughs> and win. And then you can get an Aquascape ecosystem water feature too. And the thing that I love about your channel, Paul, is that you're encouraging the next generation exactly. of water feature lovers. Sure. I love myself living the Aquascape lifestyle. For me, I'm very proud of you, Paul. The last time I was here, I mean, it's 50% different. I mean, I see it on your videos, yep. but even in person, it's more good. lush, it's more filled in. Way more. And this is the cool thing, a water feature is never done. It's always changing. The animals are always yep. changing. The, the plants, plants are growing. Grow. It's an ecosystem. It works with Mother Nature, not against her, which is our entire basic philosophy. I want to encourage more people to live the aquascape lifestyle. That's why I have my channel, Greg Whitsock the Pond Guy, where I go out and I visit cool people with awesome water features living the aquascape lifestyle. Nice. And it's, I'm so proud of you because you're a guy that got it done, you did it, and you're continuing to do it because yes. you're always creating new content and inspiring more people to live the lifestyle. I love it. You're gonna do more giveaways, right? Yeah, we're gonna do more. Like, this will not be the last one, I promise you. Put my word for it. Like, literally, I swear to you. But anyway, let's send it on over to whatever video I end up putting this in. I was filming right before I got my uh, hair chopped off, but congrats to the winner. That is an incredible prize to win right there. 30,000, 30,000, five digits worth of people entered into that giveaway, and trust me, this will not be the last. I'm gonna have even bigger ones coming up here in just a little bit, so stick along. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out. Once again, congrats, but you gotta email me. Email me right now with uh, proof of your account access, meaning like a screenshot of you logged into that YouTube channel or so on and so forth. We'll, we'll deal with that over email. So these right here are my Malaysian box turtles. I have three of them in the backyard, two females and one male, if you're not familiar with that. Um, we'll have more eggs from these in the future, so don't worry. And of course, I will document it and get every bit of it on foot. I got a text message from Kenan, actually. Uh, those soft eggs, those soft lizard eggs, they hatched. There's a picture of it. So uh, I think he filmed a video on that, so that's on his channel. Not all eggs will hatch. I mean, we only had one, so we only have one chance. If we had three, 99.9% .9 we get at least one egg out of that, but uh, things happen So I know this was a lot slower of a video. I had Kenan explain a few things So hopefully you guys learned something but uh not a normal video That's for sure usually we're all hype, but uh, you know every once in a while We just got to share these little stories because if I didn't post this video people would be wondering today's positive comment shout out goes to MM motor and fishing love your videos. I've been subscribed since 20,000 I just want to let everyone know lately the support has been on Real. Thank you all for sharing these videos, liking these videos, subscribing to the channel. Without y'all, I wouldn't have any of this. 